The Bell X-22 was a groundbreaking experimental aircraft developed in the 1960s to explore vertical, short takeoff and landing capabilities. The project emerged from a United States Navy contract awarded to Bell Helicopter in November 1962 with a budget of $27,500,000 for two prototypes. The X-22 featured a distinctive design with four ducted fans mounted on rotating nacelles. Each fan measured 2.13 meters in diameter and contained three composite blades constructed with steel spars and fiberglass covering, reinforced with nickel leading edges. This innovative blade design achieved 25% weight reduction compared to all metal alternatives while offering triple the fatigue strength. The aircraft's power came from four General Electric YT-58 GE-8B turboshaft engines, each generating 1,267 horsepower. These engines were mounted in pairs on the rear wing with intakes positioned above the wing and exhausts below. The power transmission system incorporated 10 gearboxes, allowing all four fans to operate even if only one engine remained functional. The X-22 measured 12 meters in length with an 11.96 meter wingspan. Empty weight was 4,750 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 8,000 kilograms. The aircraft could theoretically achieve speeds exceeding 400 kilometers per hour and reach altitudes of 8.5 kilometers. The aircraft employed an advanced variable stability system that could simulate the flight characteristics of other aircraft types. The control system utilized aerodynamic surfaces, elevons, mounted behind each ducted fan, which deflected the propeller airflow for precise control in all flight regimes. The first X-22 prototype made its maiden flight on March 17, 1966. During initial testing, pilots completed four takeoffs and landings within 10 minutes, including a 180-degree turn. Unlike other tilt-rotor aircraft of the era, the X-22 demonstrated remarkably smooth transitions between vertical and horizontal flight. However, tragedy struck on August 8, 1966, when the first prototype crashed due to hydraulic system failures in the Elevon controls. The accident investigation revealed that vibration had caused the failure of hydraulic fittings at the duct airframe junction. This led to significant design improvements, including the replacement of rigid connections with flexible hydraulic lines and the switch from aluminum to steel tubing. The second prototype began testing on January 26, 1967. This aircraft completed 228 flights, totaling 125 hours, performing 400 vertical takeoffs and landings, plus 200 short takeoffs and landings. The test program demonstrated exceptional controllability in all flight regimes, with pilots reporting easier handling during vertical flight compared to conventional helicopters. From 1971 to 1980, the second prototype served as a research platform at Cornell Aeronautical Laboratory. Scientists used it to study steep approach landings, night operations, and ship-based operations. The aircraft's variable stability system allowed it to simulate other aircraft characteristics, including the AV-8B Harrier's flight behavior. After the United States Navy discontinued interest in ducted fan vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, the surviving X-22 faced an uncertain future. Initially rejected by the Naval Aviation Museum, it spent years in storage at Buffalo Airport. In 1995, the aircraft was moved outdoors but protected by a plastic tent funded by the local historical society. Finally, in 1998, the Niagara Aerospace Museum acquired the X-22, where it remains preserved today. The Bell X-22 program validated the feasibility of ducted fan vertical takeoff and landing technology and contributed valuable data to vertical flight research. While it never entered production, its research findings influenced future vertical takeoff and landing aircraft development. The X-22 remains the last ducted fan convertible aircraft built in the United States, marking the end of an innovative chapter in American aviation history.